Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. Today we're gonna do a new mod map tour of Lawfold's Aberdeenshire. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. All right, folks, it's been a while since I've done a map uh, tour just because there's been, well, I was on vacation um, and then uh, this one, yeah, this is a little late too for this one. I apologize. Uh, it came out, I believe it was on Monday. Um, yeah, I believe it was Monday. Yeah, Monday. And I'm I'm not going to have this out until Wednesday uh, for you. But we are here on Lawfold's Aberdeenshire in new farmer mode. So going over to the, the mod hub, this is by CM Mods with a Z at the end. This is 225.98 megabytes. This is for currently for PC and Mac players only. Um, I don't know if it's planning to be released to console or not. But in the mod hub, it says Lawfolds is based around a real working farm in the fertile rolling hills of Grampian, Scotland. So we are in a Scottish farm here. Um, there are two additional farms, East Law, where the sheep can be found, and Newton of Lewisk, or Lewisk uh, is where the cows are located. This map features three working farms, two which have independent grain silos, three forest areas around the map, four different cell points. Uh, Aberdeen Grains, Highland Grains, Aberdeen Northern Marts Group, and Housing Estate for the various crops. High capacity storage at Highland Grains, so you can store those crops waiting for free. Uh, crops waiting for free of charge. I'm assuming it's just kind of like a, a silo capacity other, probably. Uh, maybe if you buy it. If you buy it. Oh, wait a second. Ah, you can store wood chips. You might have to take a look at a couple of things on here. And manure you can store, it looks like. Um, we'll take a look at a couple of those interesting things. Uh, anyhow, com continuing down, seed and fertilizer points on the farms and at two cell points as well as storage for the pallets on the farm for those who prefer to use them. Prices have been increased slightly higher than base game missions on all fields not owned uh, to help get those prices down. Does that mean the field prices? Because if you remember, if you remember like on uh, FS17, if you did work on a field, so yeah, those are pretty expensive. Well, maybe. I don't know. They might be really large fields. But if you did work on a FS-17 on a field, you slowly lowered the price. I'm not sure if that's how that works or not. But, uh, okay. Please be aware all hedges, fences, and walls have collisions. However, there are sizable grass headlands around the fields to help those workers out. So that's fantastic. Animated gates and lights. Most of the farm buildings automatic lights at the cell points. Uh, as a massive thanks to the Giants team for helping me get the map ready and all... And to all model creators that I have used to create the map, a special mention to DJ Goham uh, for testing it um, and showing off the map and to FS Club and Silver News. Sorry if I missed anyone. Well, anyhow, we are going to get a look at this map here. Um, again, as I mentioned, we are in new farmer mode, so we will go ahead and uh, take a look in here at the menu. All right, so uh, working our way across here, as mentioned, it, we do have contracts on the maps here. Uh, the animal pens will show up, you have animals in them. Uh, you start off with $100,000 and no starting loan. Several pieces of equipment, which we'll look at in the store in a minute. Some of them need to be seriously repaired. Um, here are the sell points here. We will take a closer look at these as we go around the map. Uh, taking a look at the map, uh, the first thing before I forget, is there a BGA on here? I don't think there is. Not seeing one, no. The shop and a bunch of different uh, points are down here a little bit stacked on top of each other, but... That's okay. Oh, there's a BGA right there. Okay, perfect. Um, the BGA, you start off owning it in new farm mode. Fantastic. So uh, if you wanted to sell it, though, it's 362000 So if you're not going to use it, you might as well sell it. Um, down here, you all start off with field 29, 154000 field 30 at 55, 28 at 318, uh, and 31 at 236. And the main farm area here, uh, which is 202, which has the, um, gosh, is that the, that's a sheep, right? Or no, pigs. I thought it just said sheep and cows on there. Um, I guess those are on the other farm areas, which we'll take a look at here. Yes, yeah, so we have two other farm areas. Um, yeah, so pigs, it looks like we own on this farmland here. We also have a silo, a fuel point, and a not that the house there. Um, down here on this farm, I'm assuming this is another one, 328080. We'll buy them all later in a second. And then I don't know if this is a field or a forest area, because it does say there's some forest areas on here. I would assume this would be a forest area down here, but anyhow, this section of land is for 831,000. So uh, we'll take a look at it here in just a second. Obviously, we'll work our way around the map like we normally do. Uh, but let me go ahead and throw us in. Uh, uh, should have, here we go. Um, let me just give us a bunch of money. 
Um, okay, let's go ahead and purchase this guy. Yes, and that throws an animal marker on there. And yes, and that does too. Okay, yeah, so we start off, I guess, with pigs. And then the other farms we're talking about is over here we have a cow pasture. And over here we have chickens and sheep on that one. So fantastic. Fuel point at both of those, which is also fantastic. And is there another? Looks like there's another point under that. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to take a look out there. Not get anything else, but it looks almost like there's a point under it that I'm. Anyhow, regardless, farm silo out there. Um, there's just not a silo at this farm. So, and by the way, those to buy. I don't know if I showed them or not. Three twenty-eight and ninety-one. That one's pretty cheap over there for a cow pen, especially. Um, okay, so I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna work our way around the main farm here, and then we're gonna jump up to the store and start there, just so I can buy a vehicle and use it up there. So, um, if we hop out of here, let's look in the store real quick to see what we start off with. So you start off with a new Holland T5 100, which has 99 horsepower, Fent Fabret 511C, 115 horsepower, and a big old uh, Massey Ferguson 7719 with 210. You also have a Massey Harvester, which is fantastic. Uh, skid steer loader, as well as a pickup truck, uh, a decent sized grain trailer, um, decent sized header for your Massey Ferguson, a small plow. Uh, you have a small direct drill seeder, which is nice. Actually, that's a decent size. Six meter direct drill is pretty nice. You can work pretty far with that. Uh, then we have, oh, that's fantastic. You can do lime and solid fertilizer with that guy. You also have a header trailer. Farm boots, which I'm assuming are going to be like a sleep uh, point trigger. So that's fantastic. Let's see actually while we're in here, do they have any other special placeables? Um, there's no placeables. It looks like you can sell workshops. So there's a couple of modded workshops in here, which I don't know if there's anything. Oh, that's interesting. Um, that's interesting. So just that. And then this one, oh, just does that. Nice. So you have a couple of different options for workshop triggers. It looks like, which is cool. Uh, moving out of silos, nothing in there. That's not, oh, that's modded. Nothing there. Sheds and then farmhouses you should. Yep, so you got the farm boots, which are just a placeable house trigger or sleep trigger for you, which is awesome that they have that in here. So here we are on the main farm. This road heads in, and then um, there's a road on the other side that heads out. But let's go ahead and give us just a touch more in the speed department here. Uh, perfect, that should be fine. That's that's a little fast. Let me go ahead and slow it down. I have a tendency to run anyways. But uh, so we have combine here, direct drills here. So decent storage on there. Skid steer loader here. This looks like probably your pallet storage. Um, looks like looks like that would be what that building would be for, um, which is fabulous. Um, going around here, let's see what else we got. It's a little area deck there coming down here. Lots of good storage in here for you. Or maybe this is the pallet storage. I mean, that would work for it as well. Um, so I guess you have that option as well for you. Moving over here. Looks like we got a workshop trigger in here, which is fabulous. And you have more storage in there, which is also very nice. So... Um, and that runs through, you can go through out the other side there. Um, this heads around here, the junk like that, you're not gonna be able to move. This opens up into field, uh, looks like 27, which you do not own, starting off. Fuel trigger right here, as well as looks like seed, these are the seed, maybe fertilizer points they're talking about. Um, and light should work for a lot of these too. Yes, so there should be light switches around. Again, I'm not gonna go through and find all the light switches, but, uh, Let's actually just make this a little bit easier and then I'll slow the time down for us down to one. Perfect. Okay. Uh, old junk uh, combine out here. Yeah, just a lot of the old junk and stuff sitting around. And uh, this heads off that way to more fields. Um, none, none that you own. But <laughs> can you around here? You also have a shed here, a little storage section. Going down about here, you have a couple other um, shed areas here. And I don't know if this is a door that opens. No, it doesn't appear to open. And that goes through to your workshop trigger to the other side. Um, over here, we got the silo. So modded silo there for us. And that's going to be probably your fill point there. And then your dump points over there where we're just at. Coming around back out here. We're back out to the front, right? Yes, back out to the front. Uh, but there is more. A little shed here for us, as well as the pickups under the little carport there. Uh, the boots are right there. So sleep triggers right there, which those can easily be sold, moved, whatever else. So, um, Oh, looks like we got a water point there as well, which is fabulous. Um, and then working down this way, there is, those are my little tr triggers that I place, but uh, working down this way, this will head you out of the farm, out down. Uh, so this will head out down around here. Um, sorry, get that drawer out of my way. Um, just drawer my desk sticking out. And that'll head up that way as well. So pigs are going to be right in here. Nothing terribly extravagant. Let's uh, see if we can find, so it's probably going to be water. 
speed, straw, manure is probably going to come here. Slurry points there. Five point. If we can find it. Just inside the gate here. I don't see. Oh, here we go. Right here. This gate. Um, let's see how many we can get over there. Just so I can see how much it's going to hold since it is a modded one that's added into the, the map. Sorry, you're probably hearing all my excessive clicking as I put in, seems like, a lot of pigs. Whew. A lot of pigs. <laughs> Let's start with that. How much have we got in there so far? 137 and going. So, well, I'm going to do this and I'll bring you guys back in just a second. All right, damn, we have 300 pigs in here, and I know I should have had probably the animal screen extension installed to make it a little bit easier to do that, but there you have it, there you know. So, um, as far as fields we own, that field that's off to our left over there, up there, we own that uh, field 28 as we come out on the right there, and then a couple others over there. So, that is what we have going on. This is part of that, so that connects up pretty well to that. Looks like a couple of grass areas down there. So, I'm going to jump up to the shop now. Well, pretty pretty close anyways. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So shop's going to be over here. So I'm going to buy us something to go around a bit in. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, we'll do that. Uh, sure, why not? Okay, perfect. That'll work. All right, doesn't matter. Okay, so... Ooh. When I hopped out of that, put me over... If I get out of this, I'm over here now, and the shop trigger's over there. That's a little odd. I don't know why it does that, per se. Um... There's some storage sheds around that appear to have no other purpose unless you want to use them. It does look like there's a fuel point probably right here. Um, yeah, it's hard to see. Oh, maybe that is a cell point there. Let's take a look at that. There's so many stacked up in here. Um, let's go ahead and tag that place. So yeah, there's a bale cell point here, um, which that is the A&M bale sale. And they are going to take silage grass hay and straw so they're going to take just kind of your basic barn kind of stuff there um if we go back to the map we got a lot going on here there is just a lot um group grain let's tag that that is right here so i'm assuming that's going to be this guy in here um a and m group grain they are going to take wheat barley oats canola sunflower soy uh corn as well as sugar beets and potatoes and sugar cane so there you have that. And then what else have we got going on in here? Um, we have the animal dealer and a buy manure point and the spinneries over there too somewhere. So over here looks like, yep, we got animal trade. That's fantastic. People are walking around. There's the animal dialog box right outside. Manure buy point, slurry buy point it looks like as well. Yeah, buy slurry, buy manure. It's hard to see, but they're there. Um, and this is going to be your spinnery cell point here, which if we go into the spinnery, the spinnery is going to take wool and cotton. Nothing else. Nothing more to it. Um, I am curious to see if that's a fuel point. Let's see if I can't fill it up. Air trigger is going to be over there inside the shop, I believe, is it not? He's getting run around all over the place. Yep, just inside here. So, sorry, that's another important thing to note. Let's go see if we can't... Uh, Buy some fuel for this bad boy. Should pop up. Uh, maybe not. Let's do this. We'll empty it out. Oops. Nope, no fuel point here that I can see or, or yeah, nothing I can foresee there. So, uh, anyhow, yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and Automatic gate there. All right, let's go ahead and stop for a moment and look and see what we are going to do as far as where we are going to go. So we'll probably want to... Hmm. And I think what we'll do is we'll just... Uh, we'll head this way, head up here, take a look at this stuff, head down here, take a look at this cell point down here, take a look at this farm, head across around there, take a look at that farm, and then I think we'll head up this side and finish off over here. Then we will do a flyover at the very end. I think that'll be the plan. So... I'll try to give kind of this view as much as possible um, while we are touring about the map. Hopefully I don't miss any features. Again, I probably will. I mean, it's just, it's natural. I'm going to miss certain things. So it just is what it is. But uh, we'll head this way. This map, I feel like is it's probably smaller than I, I think it is. I mean, let's see. Well, I don't know. That's massive. That is a massive field. 
I mean, so these are just big. These are big fields, though, too. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe it is a bigger map than I think it is. But uh, anywho, we'll head up this way. I believe this is where we need to go. Yep. Definitely some stuff going on up here. Beautiful map, though. Very well done. Very, very well done. Oh, don't want to get too much air here. <laughs> All right. Heading into here, looks like we have the sawmill point, which is, yep, we'll let you auto save that. Yeah, sawmill. It looks like we got the wood cell point right here, and then I'm not sure if there's a wood chip cell point or not. Let's see in the, uh, this guy here. Yeah, it says it takes wood chips. Of course, there's a couple other things that take wood chips as well. Um... I guess let me just go ahead and... Okay, so I'd probably even take wood chips just in that triggered area there, um, which is fine. That's fantastic. Um, all right, and then right here we have another cell point. This is the... Oh, goodness. The Highland Grain. Highland Grain, where are you at? There you are. We'll jump back down this away. This is going to say wheat, barley, oats, canola, sunflower, soy, corn... Uh, potatoes, sugar beets, as well as sugar cane, wood chips. It is going to take wood chips and manure. Fantastic. So there's that cell point. And down further here, do we have, is it the lime station we have up here? Oh, farm. So oh, this is that silo that's going to hold miscellaneous stuff for us. Let's take a look at what it says on the Island Grain Limited High Capacity Low Cost Storage Facility. Fabulous. So we have storage here, and it looks like... Uh, where's the pipe going to be to unload that? Hmm. Oh, it's maybe... Oh, right over there. Probably this guy right here would be my guess. Let's see if we can't test that out. Yes, there we go. Okay, fantastic. So there's extra storage there for you if you need it. There's another cell point up there, which is just the BGA, the biogas plant. So we'll head up there and take a look at the BGA. And then we will head, continue on our map tour. Automatic gates, and again, boom, edge collision. So just as it states, be aware of that. It heads up to the end of the map. This is going to head up around to the BGA. So we will head up into here, which we own the BGA right now. You start off owning the BGA, as we mentioned just a little bit ago. And... What do we have here? We have a, looks like a, like a way station really. But uh, anyhow, lots of little thin bunker cells along there. You have the digester here, which let's go ahead and test and see if you need to actually dump it into the digester or just pull up next to it. Um, let's fill this bad boy up. And this actually does take wood chips as well. So we'll go ahead and, yep, perfect. So you can go ahead and dump those right there. No problem. Beautiful. All right. So there you have that. And then up here looks like our slurry, um, or not slurry, our digestate dispensary, if you will, right here. It does, based on that, it does look like it's compatible with the manure system mod, though it doesn't specifically say uh, in the mod hub. All right. Let us head out of here. Those gates open fast. That's perfect. All right, we'll head down, <laughs> down the other side of the map here, which we're just gonna head straight, right? Yeah, just straight up to that next cell point that's on, uh, on the way. It's very. It's just. This is a nice map. It's nice. It's simple. I like that. There's actually some decent borders around the fields, even though there are some collisions. Like it says, there's good grass headlands, which is fantastic and very helpful. The worker should be able to work in general. Ooh, that goes out that way around. Interesting. I believe that's what it does there. That's what it looks like. It looks like that is a gate that goes out and about there. Anyhow, this is the housing estate cell point. Housing estate cell point is going to take eggs. This is your one egg cell point and your one milk cell point. So there you have it for those guys there. And we're going to head out that gate there, which we can't drive through the bushes to get around. So we are going to have to actually open that gate. Hop out and get that guy opened up. Perfect. And now we can head down this way and continue on the tour. 
Fantastic. We'll head down this way. And if you're new to the channel, I know I don't say this enough, but uh, it's called Farmer Cop because I am a full-time police officer. That's what my in real life job is. <laughs> I'm not a full-time YouTuber, though that does sound like fun, but that's not what I am. <laughs> we got another gate down here I'm going to open up for us. All right, continuing on. So a lot of my series, I do tell police stories and I do, do uh, police role play in my No Man's Land series right now. So just some little tidbits about the channel if you're just here watching the map tour today. But here we are at another farm. So it looks like there's probably manure and slurry there, probably milk point there. This is the cow pen. Um, looks like you got a bunker cell here too. This is a bunker cell, right? Yes, it is. Okay, fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Um, this is going to be your trigger for animals. I'm going to go ahead and see how many they can take, and I'll bring you guys back in just a moment. And there you have it right next to our pigs. We have 200 cows in the mix here. So this will hold 200 cows for you. Water trough there. Food's back over the other way. But uh, So I think these are the, again, I think these are the feed, uh, the seed and fertilizer points. Well, we'll pull up the gator to them in just a minute and take a look at that. But uh, storage here, the farm silo here. looks like the empty point for this one is, yep, right around here. All right, all right, good news. Have a little house here if you wanted to use that. Uh, plenty of storage on these farms, which is fantastic. And they're very, I mean, in general, they're very neat, very organized, very clean, spacious farms. So, oh, we should have a fuel point right over, somewhere right around here, I would guess. Yep, right here. And then it looks like a water point as well. Let's hop in the gator and test out those. Uh... Well, actually, we can test out the fuel point probably here too. Make sure that it's working, which I don't, I mean, I'm not really worried about it working, but it should work just fine. We go ahead and we empty this guy. Ooh, that's not good. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and fill it back up. I don't know if it's because we weren't that close or something. I don't know. Maybe it's a fuel storage point. But anyhow, regardless of that, if it's not a buy point, it's probably a storage point. And these actually might be that way too with the seed. But let me see if I can't. Oh, there we go. That's fertilizer. And it is billing me for it. I just came up and hit R on that. Okay. Let me go ahead and empty this guy out. That's also fertilizer. <laughs> Further forward. <laughs> empty it out. There we go. Seeds. That one at least had that menu come up. So there's seeds going in there. Okay, perfect. Oh, let me just go ahead and stop that. And we'll turn that off. Yeah, it looked a little bit pricey maybe, but anyhow, you do have that available, which is a nice feature, I think, if you're just if you're just here to farm and you don't want to have to deal with trying to go get it. But uh, anyhow, okay, we're down here. We're going to work our way now around this bottom portion of that. We'll take a look at what 39 is. I pretty sure it's going to be a forest area but uh we'll get close to it and go see and make sure confirm that so all right and heading out this way this gate here lots of little gates to get around some of the sections here and i'm actually just while we're over here i'm going to open up is it that way oh that way we're going never mind we're not going that way we're fine with just that one gate i think and we'll find out in just a minute but <laughs> we'll continue around this way I know my map tours are a bit chaotic, but we get the job done at least most of the way, I think. Hopefully. Looks like here, though, too, I'll note that that field with that little edge on there, it looks like there's probably a little bit. It's not quite the most accurate uh, filling of the uh, of the field. It's not necessarily programmed out the boundaries correctly. The boundaries aren't marked out necessarily completely accurate, but not to worry. That only really affects contract work. You can still obviously plant and grow stuff in that whole uh, section without any issues, but uh, I know the hedge collisions will drive a lot of people crazy. I'm not a big fan of them just in case you do want to just drive through because you're not too worried about being super realistic. I'm not a super realistic player. I generally try to be, you know, reasonable with what I'm doing, but uh, yeah, I mean, it would be nice too if you could somehow cut them out or do something like that because in the real world you could, but 39 does not look like forestry to me. Looks like it's a big open grass field. So there you have that. Oh, we're going to hit that. I'm not careful. Uh, so yeah, that heads out. Oh, we're going to take a right here, but uh, yeah, so 39 appears to be just grass, which it did say there's forest areas, so 
I, and there might be on here. I'm just not noticing well. So uh, when we fly around, there might be some different ones that we see pretty easily. So we'll take a look at that because I thought it said three forestry areas, but I could have been, been wrong. I, I know I read that, but uh, I mean, that looks like a forestry area there. So it looks like there's at least some forestry available if you want it. So anyhow, but yes, these aren't main roads. So just be a little bit aware of that. You're going to have to work through some gates if you want to take these routes here. Um, so just something to note. But uh, yeah, so not all of these are necessarily main routes if that's what you're kind of looking for. It looks like this is probably the main route across there. But even then, I don't think that was all. It was pavement there, but I'm not sure all of it was. I don't think all of it was pavement. So just something to be a little bit aware of. But uh, yeah, this looks like a forest area. I mean, small as it may be or thin as it may be, I guess is probably a more accurate descriptor of it. But uh, yeah, a little forestry section there, big grass areas. Um, yeah, fabulous detail. We'll head over here to this, uh, this is like a little forest grove as well here. So that's kind of nice. We will head up here and head into the final farm we're gonna take a look at. Again, you have those fertilizer seed points right here. And I bet you if you came up here with liquid fertilizer, it would work just fine as well. Uh, fuel point here, uh, theoretically speaking, or probably a fuel storage, but I thought it'd be a fuel point. It could be something I'm doing wrong as well. Just be aware of that. Um, that road heads out up and up that way. We need to come in here in just a second. So let me open up this gate before I forget. Um, yep, down here we have this is the chickens. Oh yeah, the chickens. Let me go ahead and see how much it's going to take for chickens. And there you have the chickens at 100. So this will hold 100 chickens. Looks like their fuel point, or their fuel point, jeez. <laughs> this is where you refill your chickens. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'd say it looks like some point was over here, but I'm not sure what this might be. It says I could pick that up, but I guess not. Uh, probably a super strength on, but uh, this looks like the feed trough here, but I don't know if the trigger's for it up here. That might be something weird like that, but uh, anyhow, you have a nice little house here for you to live in. Um, there's a workshop trigger over there, as we saw, and then our little storage section here that's fabulous i do like that that's nice awesome but so yeah and you have uh, various yard tools of course that you can uh grab that are at your disposal here just in case you need them <laughs> looks like there's actually a water trigger here which is nice and here's our seat our sheep point which let me uh uh see what we can get in there here real quick and there you have it sheep are at 250 so there you go they can hold 250 sheep fabulous and that is the end of this one pretty much for us that is the farms in a nutshell. There's the workshop tree there. I know I didn't do a good job of pointing it out earlier, but uh, there she is. All right, we'll hop in here. Um, all we're gonna do now is just head up this side of the map, drive up there, take a right, and head up and take a look at the Aberdeen Grain cell point up at the very top right-hand corner of the map, and then we'll call it a map tour at that point, I think. I think that's a good spot to wrap it up at the end. <laughs> yeah, after you've seen it all. <laughs> well, we will fly over at the uh, very end here, so. We're not going to skip that part of it, but uh, yeah, a nice countryside. I do like that. It's very open, but there's little clusters of trees in such various spots. See, yeah, there's some of the uh, little the boundaries there on the fields look a little bit uh, askew. Um, but again, that only really applies to kind of like doing contract work and stuff. Uh, so it just needs a little bit of refining, I think. Here's the main road. Here we go. No more dirt tracks for us. And again, there is traffic on the main road, as you've probably seen since we've been driving around. You didn't see that you might want to pay attention a little bit more <laughs> just i'm just kidding but uh, anyhow we'll keep working our way up the map i don't know what's wrong with me maybe it's because i'm tired but uh, anyhow oh it's been a long week for me but regardless of that i'm enjoying driving around here playing some farming simulator even if i'm just looking at a map it's still quite a bit of fun for me so take a left here oh almost hit that fence not a farmer cop video without a crash uh, here and now. Well, every video really has a crash, probably. Ooh, we didn't make that corner very well. Anyhow, we're <laughs> making progress. I do like that on the mini-map that, uh, oop, yep, take your time. That little, uh, Lawfold's Aberdeenshire shows up on there. If you see down there in the bottom left-hand corner, that's pretty sweet. I like that feature quite a bit. It's just a nice little thing to have on there. So, oh, geez. Well, that's what I get for looking at the mini-map and talking talking away is he getting a collision head-on collision there would not be a good one especially since we were probably going pretty fast uh, anyhow here we are up at the uh, top of the map at aberdeen grain i do like that edge actually i mean it's not from a distance it looks great it looks obviously flat once you get up to it i know that's it's it's a tricky thing to do Ooh, is this not gonna let us in oh there we go that's weird triggers a little bit askew on that one but uh anyhow yeah i don't mind it i think it looks nice tunnels around but uh 
yeah i don't know regardless some people that might may not like it but uh here's the final sell point right here aberdeen grain we're up at um i don't think we missed anything no i think we hit it all. oh did we look at the biogas plant what it takes i don't think we did it takes manure and slurry at good prices there it also takes hay and grass as well as silage and wood chips and i don't think it takes anything else nope all right so that's the biogas plant now to aberdeen grain it's gonna take wheat barley oats canola sunflower soy corn uh, sugar beets and potatoes as well as sugar cane which i do like it has those root crop type things uh, available at multiple cell points on here and that is everything that aberdeen grain takes all right let us jump into a flight mode here we'll speed things up quite a bit yeah that'll work so we're up here in the bot or the upper corner here i do like that looks like it it's kind of i mean it doesn't look great but i think i like it so anyhow <laughs> oh boy we head down here this is the starting farm what is this up here did i miss this part of it no yeah is that the oh that's the store i was like I, did we look at that but yeah we did we did just ignore me um so yeah the main road goes around up here there's the store there as you know and have seen that i forgot about what is this down here did i miss this i guess there's a little house type structure right Oop. sorry a little house type structure right here as part of this field so regardless if you loathe it or love it it is there and here's the biogas plant as well as your extra storage grain place and sawmill type deal here okay yeah so there's a forest area there so that's this section right here so this is a forest area 286,000. um we'll find i i believe it said three so we should find a couple more down here as well but heading down here this is uh the house estates here the housing estates main farm is going to be right over there um but we'll take a look at that in just a second from above Heading further out here, here is one of the other farms down here. This is the, I want to say the cows, right? Yeah, this is the cows down here. Cow farm down here. Then we work our way across over here. We again have the main farm right up over here. And the starting fields you have, um, we'll look at those as well up here. So yeah, those don't look like forest areas too much. That one does a little bit. That's not really a forest area. But uh, we have field 31 directly below us. You also have field 28 directly below us, field 29 and 30, which are these two fields here that are the main ones on the screen. Um, I guess there's a forest area over there, it looks like. But here's the final farm down here. So that little strip of land looks like it's, I guess, yeah, I guess you could buy that. And I guess that'd be kind of a forest area. Or is it at the bottom of, now the bottom of the pen's kind of down there. So, or the bottom of that farm is down there, but... Yeah, the only thing that's like really obviously kind of strange looking is like the uh, the clipping you see kind of on the field to a little bit of just kind of it's not a smooth edge around there but uh and over here you have a little forestry section so that guy you can buy for 154,000. but that is everything anyhow guys if you enjoyed this map tour drop a like down below if you haven't already hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future map tours tutorials guides tests or any other gameplay videos that i may post this has been Farmer Cop, guys. Thank you for coming and watching.